Good morning, you guys. We're at the school waiting to drop off Spriker, and I just wanted to come on really fast. I have been so busy that I did not edit a video for today, but I want to talk to you guys about Ty's GoFundMe page. So, it has had a lot of traffic, and we are so grateful. <laughs> and some donations, which is awesome. I am so thankful for you guys. We have been talking with someone to get him a puppy, and... Um, that will be trained into a service dog. So we're working with a team of trainers and as soon as we have all of the funds, we will be able to get his service dog and get it training so that he can have that. Service dogs are great for autistic kids um, and kids that have epilepsy, which is seizures, in case you didn't know. Bragger's picking his nose. Bragger, don't pick your nose. Look, you're picking your nose on the video. <laughs> gross anyway so kids that are epileptic the dogs can sense the seizures and alert us so that if we're missing them we will know how many he's had which it helps to know how to treat him um with his seizures like medication wise and also which is neurologist i talked to her about this and she does think it is a really good idea so um she thinks that it will help him a lot and help us as parents um, to be able to help him and know how to help him. Um, and then as far as the autism goes, service dogs are great for autistic kids and they're so intuitive. They kind of get in tune with each other and, um, the service dog helps keep them safe is what it does. And so basically a service dog, um, is trained to stay with the child at all times. And this includes to help him to not be a runner. And I know I haven't mentioned this much in the vlogs in the past because it's a really hard thing to talk about for me. Um, but it will explain a lot why a service dog is really great for Ty. So Ty's been lost a couple of times. He's been lost twice. And when I say lost, I don't mean like find him in a few minutes. I mean like we had a call search and rescue. He was missing for hours at a time. And it's really, really scary. Um, it was so traumatizing both times, especially the second time because he f was found five to six miles bird's eye view from where we were. And it was just really traumatizing. Like it, you know, he was missing for five and a half hours and oh, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> it's, one of those things that a parent should never, ever, ever have to go through, and I would never wish it on anyone. It's horrible, and a service dog could help prevent situations like that from happening again. So a service dog would benefit him in so many ways. Um, it would be trained to stay with him and bark until he is found, which is something huge for him. So anyway i am rambling now and i'm gonna go but i just wanted to let you guys know that we are campaigning for that the link will be below the video that um says help us find a service dog for ty or get a service dog for ty um and then later i will put it below this video as well so that's all for now guys thanks for watching subscribe if you're new and we'll talk to you later bye